enrichment activity of the day today is a snuffle mat. So what we really do with these is we hide treats or kibble or any sort of food item in this fake grass situation. That really gives them something doggy to do with their energy. It really does make them a little bit more mentally tired. You can actually feed their whole meal this way to slow them down and to make it really interesting. So I'm going to show you that right now. I'm just going to show you how I do it. It's not very exciting. Um, you're just going to put kibble in the little, the fronds, the fronds of your snuffle mat, if you will, um, and kind of hide it in there for difficulty. Um, I'm going to show you with my dogs taking turns. They can also do this together because I consider this a big enough mat, um, but I do kind of want to watch and monitor their interaction with that because I don't want them getting into any sort of tiff over this. Um, so I'm going to let one dog do this at a time. Dwayne. So she's really going to spend time snuffling through this mat to find all the food. She's going to use her nose, going to use that dog brain of hers to really source all of the smell and excitedly eat that food. This is one of her favorite games. If you don't have a mat like this, there are many DIYs on the internet on how to make these. Just look up snuffle mat DIY. All it takes is an old fleece blanket and a lot of time. Um, I actually purchased this one. This is a bed cover um, and it works excellently as a snuffle mat. Amazon also sells some options for snuffle mats, um, and they even make really cool ones with different kinds of pockets, different kinds of enrichment um, pieces, pockets, swirls, fronds, things like that. Um, and we're also going to show you an option for doing this outside. If you have any areas of safe ground cover or kind of thicker grass, you can literally just toss kibble on it and you have a snuffle mat.